so very warm good morning to everybody So good morning, good uh, TV engineering class. Very good morning. Hi to all. Quickly join. Quickly join everybody. In previous video lecture, we are familiar about video signal dimensions very in clear manner. So video signal dimensions very popular. Later, we completed all video signal dimensions. <clears throat> so, we are familiar about all definitions involving in video signal dimensions. So, we familiarized with what are the various highlighted definitions of video signal dimensions. Similarly, we learned the parameters pedestal height particular pedestal height setting the pedestal level popularly so how to set this pedestal level 
So synchronization pulse video signal amplitude radio ratio. The importance of synchronization pulse video signal amplitude ratio. Yeah. So horizontal synchronization details. So horizontal synchro very important picture. This one the very important picture for our end examinations. So the picture indicates horizontal line and synchronization details comparison to horizontal deflection. The sort of picture space on the particular rest. So today, dear students, we are we wanted to listen the topic called horizontal synchronization details. The topic name horizontal synchronization details. So as we know that horizontal blanking period synchronization pulse details very important for our composite video signal so the interval between horizontal scan line here indicated by letter capital h as explained earlier out of total 64 microsecond the line blanking period line blanking period 12 microseconds so during this interval during this interval line synchronization pulse is inserted at this slot so the pulses correspond to differentiating this leading edge of synchronization pulse so actually used to synchronize the horizontal scanning oscillator. So at this time, the interval that is shown on this picture, all the scanning intervals, all these scan intervals are represented on synchronization pulse during the leading edges so the line blanking period divided into three sections the line blanking period divided into three sections so those are very popular definitions for end examinations front porch line synchronization pulse and back porch so these are three popular definitions for horizontal synchronization so front porch line synchronization and uh, back porch so the time interval allowed at each part so we represented in this slide so the line blanking period so what is this line blanking period observed in previous slide the line blank period divided into three sections especially called front porch line synchronization pulse back porch so the time intervals allowed to each part so the time interval allowed to each part in this slide tabulated here so these are the details of horizontal scan so these are the details of horizontal scan so total horizontal period total line period having time period 64 microseconds Horizontal blanking period 12 microseconds with the tolerance plus or minus 0 0.3 microseconds.
so horizontal sync pulse horizontal sync pulse 4.7 4.7 time so front porch so this is very important definition today class so front porch 1.5 back porch 5.8 and a visual line time 52 microseconds so for a visual line period 52 microsecond allotted for our horizontal scan so this is the important table we have to represent in our end examinations so the table name called horizontal scanning details for our composite video signal so you should remember these numerical values while writing our end examinations so now this is a very important definition now you are able to practice now you are able to practice very popular definition number of times asked in end examinations so that equal to front porch so front porch definition in tv engineering the represented here so that equal to called front porch so front porch is brief questioning period 1.5 microsecond inserted between end of the picture details for the line and the leading edge of line synchronization pulse so that are added here so this time this 1.5 microseconds this interval allows the receiver video circuit to settle down from whatever picture voltage level exist at the end of the picture line to the blanking level before synchronization pulse occur so that all synchronization circuitries all synchronization circuitries at the receiver so that are isolated from the influence of end of this line picture details so this will helps most of this front porch when peak white occur at the end of the line so there is a video circuitry available on this one this is called front porch 1.5 that we assigned here so this is the 1.5 front porch the but front porch is the very small period 1.5 microsecond that inserted at the end of the picture details for that line the leading edge of the line synchronization pulse so therefore this interval allows receiver video circuit so to settle down from the whatever picture voltage exist at the end of the picture line to the blanking level so this that is the information so that is the information we wanted to learn from front porch that is simply called very small questioning period so it is very small questioning period that equal to front porch so this results so this results in late triggering of time based circuits so therefore that they are arising for horizontal line 
and the synchronization circuitries. So with this results, so small beam that derives on left side of the screen. So on picture information on right next time. So this effect is known as pulling on whites. So very important short answer. So very important uh, short answer, pulling on white. So next short answer from this picture, line synchronization pulse. So the second definition from waveform for our end examinations, line synchronization pulse. So from this picture, so the first arriving of time period equal to front coach. So after the front coach, these blanking lines, horizontal retrace is produced when the synchronization pulse starts. So this is line, so this statement you have to remember during line synchronization pulse answer. So after the front porch, so blanking horizontal retrace is produced when synchronization pulse starts. So this is the brief statement regarding line synchronization pulse so the line synchronization pulse so the line synchronization pulse separated at the receiver and utilized to keep the receiver line time based circuit is so in precise manner so the synchronization with this transmitter so the nominal time duration for this line pulse is about 4.7 microsecond so during this period so the beam on the raster almost complete so therefore retrace period is available so at the extreme left end of the rest. So that is, so dear students, so that is the information we wanted to recollect from line synchronization pulse. So this pulse is very dummy period. So this pulse, so let us watch this pulse during our waveform. This is the line horizontal sync pulse and blanking pulse, which is about uh, this is a horizontal sync pulse, so 4.7 microseconds active period. So, for 4.7 microsecond active period, we have 12 microsecond, so we have 12 microsecond blank period. Remember guys, all these uh, dimension values. So this line synchronization pulse, so this line synchronization pulse is very important pulse. So during that period, the beam on this raster almost completes its backstroke and arrives at the extreme left end of the rest.
So this line synchronization pulse is very important. So after this line synchronization pulse, after this line synchronization pulse, So we come towards back porch. So the very third important <coughs> third important definition from video signal dimension waveform. So dear students, the remaining period what we observed in our picture. So we have five uh, that is uh, so the back porch here. These are the sync pulses. So, so horizontal 4.7, front porch 1.5, back porch 5.8. So you should remember for an examinations. So the back porch, so the back porch uh, period, so the back porch period is approximately 5.8 microseconds. 5.8 microseconds. So at the branching level. So at the branching level allows. So at the branching level allows. So plenty of time, plenty of time, for the line. So flyback to be completed. So and it also permits the time for uh, horizontal time-based circuits. So to reverse direction of the current. <clears throat> for uh, initiation of the scanning of uh, next line. So in fact, the relative timings, in fact, uh, the relative timings are uh, to set the small break bar. So that should be available in our screen. 
so dear students remember in this picture so in this picture we represent uh, the composite video signal so composite video signal waveforms so that show is horizontal and uh, vertical synchronization pulse so at the end of uh, even and uh, odd fields so even and odd fields so this back porch this back porch is around 5.8 microseconds so at this blanking level at this blanking level allows plenty of time for this fly, fly back to be completed so this permits so this horizontal and uh, time based circuit so the back porch also provides necessary amplitude that equal to blanking level so and enables to preserve dc content of picture information at the transmitter side so at the receiver this level which is independent of picture details so that should be utilized in agc so to develop the agc voltage proportional to signal strength so that picked by so that picked up by the antenna so as stated earlier as stated earlier the color tv burst so that should be carried out uh, so during this uh, picture alignment so that's why dear students so the vertical synchronization pulse so the vertical synchronization pulse train added after each field so that is very complex in practical so that reasons for this important to meet the several extracting of the requirements so this vertical synchronization pulse so whatever you are watching here so the basic vertical so the basic vertical synchronization added so at the end of both even and odd fields as shown in here 5.4 so the picture so the width has to be kept large than horizontal synchronization pulse so in order to derive suitable field synchronization pulse so at the end of the receiver to trigger the field sweep oscillator so the standard specifies that in order to derive suitable field synchronization pulse at the receiver so to trigger the field sweep oscillator the standard specifies that vertical synchronization pulse period around 3 times greater than this horizontal 
line period if the width is less than this so it is very become difficult so that been horizontal and vertical pulses at the receiver side so for example in 625 line system for example here 625 line system so 2.5 line period so what is the 2.5 line period so how to calculate the time period 2.5 into 64 so your approximately is 160 microseconds has been allotted for vertical synchronization pulse so the vertical synchronization pulse commences at the end of first half of 313 line and terminated at the end of 315 line so similarly it often exact interval of 20 millisecond so the next synchronization pulse occupies so this line numbers so the first second just after the second field is over so the beginning of this pulse has been aligned so in the figure so that is able to must signifies so the vertical stroke of the beam in each field that should be available after 1 by 50th of second so this alignment of vertical synchronization pulse this alignment of vertical synchronization pulse so one at the other end so this half line period and other half line period added simply to get full line period so this results in the relative horizontal sync pulse they don't appear one above but other that half line intervals so with respect to each other it's very very so however the details of this pulse train in the two fields would show that horizontal sync pulse continue to occur exactly at uh, 64 microseconds throughout the scanning period from frame to frame so the phase shift allows us 32 microseconds so dear students try to remember all these numericals while attempting this question for end examination so it will helps to all how to extract so this field so this field arise as so the horizontal synchronization information is extracted from the synchronization pulse train just by mechanism called differentiation so dear students how to understand this differentiation in our tv engineering 
just it is a task by passing the pulse train through high pass filter so these pulses corresponds to differentiated the leading edges of sync pulses are used to synchronize the horizontal scanning oscillator so this brings us a shortcoming of this waveform so the horizontal sync pulses are available both during the active and blanking line period so but there so no sync pulses are available during the this 2.5 line vertical sync period so the horizontal sweep oscillator operates at 15625 head so that would tend a synchronization during the vertical sync periods hello sir so this brings out the shortcoming of this waveforms so the blanking line period so there is no sync pulses are available so the horizontal sweep oscillator so that operate 15625 head so the tend to step out synchronization so during the each vertical synchronous period so the situation after odd field that should be available for this uh, vertical blanking period so at the end of odd field begins the midway through horizontal line so we see that the leading edge of vertical sync pulse that you are watching on the screen so at the wrong time to provide synchronization for the horizontal oscillator so therefore it becomes necessary to minimize this slots in the vertical synchronization pulse at half line interval so to provide a horizontal synchronization pulse at the correct instant both even and odd fields so this technique is to take the video signal amplitude back to back the blanks level 4.7 so before this line pulse that are needed
so the technique So therefore it becomes necessary to control these slots. So the vertical synchronization falls at half of the line interval. So this technique is called Ville video signal amplitude to control limit by 4.7. This video signal amplitude back to the blanking level. So, 4.7 microsecond. So, the line pulses are needed. So, the waveform is then written back to the maximum level. So at this moment, at this moment, uh, the line sweep circuitry that will be able to extract uh, this uh, 160 microsecond, so there should be availability in the particular uh, time interval. So that, that students, as we mentioned, so the horizontal synchronization information is extracted from the synchronization pulse just making this a differentiation circuitry so apply composite video signal apply composite video signal to that separator so the synchronous A synchronous separator. So this output, so the output of this synchronization separator, so applied to the low pass filter. So that is from low pass filter. This is the low pass filter RC combinations. So the output equal to integrated output. There is a differentiator output. So when this synchronization separator applied to this high pass filter, you obtain the differentiated output. So this differentiation, so this insertion of the short pulses, simply known as notching, so notching or insertion of broad field pulses. So dear students, today we discussed through this video so what are the horizontal what is the horizontal synchronization scanning details so that uh, what is the horizontal scan details what is the importance of this uh, horizontal scan details and the vertical sync details 
So this waveform very important to draw in our end examination. Just you represent what is the behavior of this uh, differentiator for each successive lines. So for example, so this vertical blanking interval, so this period, so whatever the, so what is the highlighter you are watching on the screen, so that is called vertical sync pulse, vertical blanking interval. And this vertical pulse interval that is indicated here, so one, two, three, half, so this is the called line sync pulse. So during this interval of uh, 3.5 to likewise this uh, this is the uh, beginning of uh, first field so that is the lines uh, one two three so lines one two three so that is the first half of the field similarly the second half so that is the beginning of second half provide 160 microseconds so the period so that is 2.5 line period is allotted for each pulse so to retrieve the information for next higher the fields so that's why in figure number b the second field starts at 313 where before the first field stops its beam production so at this level, at this level, so this horizontal sync information extracted from the sync pulse train. So therefore, horizontal sync pulses are available. So during this uh, active and blanking line periods. So totally, these line periods are active for whole over 15,625, 15625H. So around this uh, values are required to take the video signal amplitude back to the blanking level of 4.7 microseconds. So before this line pulses are needed. So return back 32 microseconds the time required to achieve the second field for our electron beam. So note that for every vertical pulse, it is uh, it may require the sync pulse. So approximately the pulse width is much wider for a horizontal pulse. So they are separated during this receiver side. So this flyback interval, this flyback interval required to make the So after this joining, after this joining the periods, so the pulse width is still much wider. So the horizontal pulse width that separated at the receiver. So now we look at uh, what is the journey. Now we look at uh, what is the journey of this, uh, yeah. 
I think you are all watching on your screen. So there are some time slots, timing waveforms are available on your screens. So this waveforms called differentiating of the particular waveforms. So here you are watching. So figure A and figure B. Figure B, first field status. And figure A, second field end status. So the differentiating of the waveforms. So figure A pulse at the end of even field and the corresponding output of differentiator. Figure B so pulse at the end of odd field, pulse at the end of odd field. corresponds to output of differentiator. So here consider a node, so the differentiated pulse bearing these line numbers are only once needed at the end of each field. So try to represent, so try to sketch this waveform during our end examinations. So no, this figure indicates the status of the differentiator output waveforms for vertical synchronization operation. So, it, so the horizontal sync pulses, the horizontal sync pulses so however the pulses actually utilized are the ones that occur subsequently for 64 microseconds interval. So such pulses are marked with the line numbers for both the fields here on the picture. So note that during the line interval of this vertical pulse train, the alternative spikes are being utilized. 